now, breaking news from RTV6. And that breaking news, a fiery crash of a small plane in Greenwood. The pilot is dead and another person on board seriously injured. RTV6 reporter Drew Smith is on the scene with the very latest. Drew? Witnesses tell me it was a very scary situation here on Patterson Street in Greenwood, which is behind me when this plane crash went down. The pilot did die from the fire that erupted after the plane crashed behind me here. But some local heroes, some neighbors were able to get inside the plane and get the co-pilot out to safety. He is right now being treated for his injuries at Methodist Hospital. Let's take a look at some video right now from Skycam 6 that captured the crash scene shortly after it happened about 2.10 this afternoon when the plane went down. You can see that the plane actually clipped one house and then crashed in the backyard of the house next door. Video now from ground level uh, from behind the house on Patterson Street where you can see what's left of the small aircraft. Police say that the plane had trouble after takeoff from Greenwood Airport. It was actually on its way to another state for an inspection. Now, I talked to a woman who lives down the street just a few houses away, and she told me that she was in her garage when she heard the boom. Before I could even react, I heard the crash. I came running out, my kids were in the tree house, and my daughter had seen the plane crash. Um, what she had told the detective was plane, the plane came over the tree house and there was smoke coming out of the front, and it teetered and swayed, and then it just, it dove. A lot of people here are very uh, upset about what happened today. That lady said her eight-year-old girl is doing fine, even though she actually witnessed that plane crash. Now, I'm going to have Tony Grant zoom in over here. You can see that investigators have just put up that tarp, kind of restricting our view. The plane crash right behind that tarp, and investigators are working the scene right now, trying to gather as much evidence as possible. Once again, the pilot of the plane is dead, the co-pilot being treated for his injuries at Methodist Hospital. We'll have much more coming up as the uh, developing story continues. Live in Greenwood, Drew Smith, RTV6.